Hi and welcome. If you want to see the first lock or the number one lock on the A&M Canal, please watch to the end. Today you join me at the Lincoln Landings. Uh, we're in Lockport, Illinois. Uh, this used to be quite a main area for canals or canal wharfs. So um, we're going to take a little look. Well, this is one of the old wharf buildings here. It is uh, being converted now into a bar and restaurant. And what a spectacular building it was. And of course, still is. Obviously, uh, added on to the front end here, all that glass windows would never have been original. But look at those beautiful doors over here. That, of course, is a very original spent absolutely fantastic typical old wharf building beautiful to look at this is all new landscaping here with some beautiful statues The last time I visited here, there were some old buildings here that have been moved to this site. Uh, I'm not quite sure where they are. I understand they've been relocated. From 1834 to 1842, and it says on here, while serving in the state legislator, Abraham Lincoln voted in support of the i &M Canal having travelled by several modes of transport, he understood the value of the proposed canal to Illinois and the entire nation. And we have a picture here, of course, of uh, the great Abraham Lincoln sitting on a horse. Well, here is the canal. And as you can see, uh, water flows through here. It would be a little shallow still for uh, narrow boats or boats of any description but um, actually through the middle there it probably would be just about deep enough to float uh, some type of boat unfortunately we have a lot of people that are in a hurry around here on the traffic and they can't leave their horns alone that's obviously a new uh, road bridge over there and uh, we'll walk around a bit more and um, see what we can find around here. we will be a bit careful here, the grass is ra rather wet and uh, I'm sinking into it a little bit. So. But um, we'll go careful and walk around. I'm quite surprised how much flow there is actually on the canal here. I can actually see leaves here flowing down the uh, canal. I guess it's because uh, this was towards the summit around this area somewhere. Uh, so it was uh, where it would be filled from. I'm assuming it's probably spring fed somewhere. I'll try and find out a bit more on that later. But we have here today is quite well looked after and we have quite a nice footbridge coming over the canal
I've now walked up on top of the uh, footbridge going over the canal and I'm looking west towards where I've made previous videos such as Juliet, Shanahan, Ox Sable Lock and Morris. I will take a walk shortly west in the direction we're looking because I know that is where lock number one is. So we'll take a walk down there. I think it's only about a mile away. So we'll take a look very soon. And just a little view in the opposite direction. And that uh, will take you to Chicago. It seems wherever I go in Illinois, I hear the freight train. They can be somewhat annoying, to say the least. Oh, and there's a crossing bell as well. And of course, the trains are the reason why this canal is no longer any use, really. Although saying that, of course, the river did take over from the main transportation, but the canal was still used for ferrying people at one point in time into Chicago. Yeah, I can't compete with that, can I? And there is the train going by. It's the Amtrak passenger train on its way to Chicago. Well, that's enough looking at my ugly mug and uh, trains going by. Let's get back to the canal. And uh, just like uh, some other places, like Morris, I've shown you some images like this before. But uh, here's another image of a man leaving a mule. Mules, of course, were the uh, method of towing the boats. And uh, they were used throughout the Iron Name Canal. They did not use horses here, they chose to use mules. I'm now walking down towards the lock and as I pass anything I think is interesting, I will film it on the way. Well here's something that's really nice to see, even in this modern day, uh, one thing that this area was really famous for was its limestone. And look at these beautiful limestone steps. They're here today and these are all very, very new. This marks the edge of where the canal used to come up for the wharf here along this grain building which is around 20 feet now from the canal. The grain building in this picture is just beyond this plaque and uh, it was just beyond that stone we just saw and it opened in the 1850s obviously uh, servicing for grain but it also had in it a shop for boaters and the local community. Crossing the canal here was a footbridge to reach the grain building crossing the canal and here are some images in still frame. As I walk on down the canal I pass a few interesting uh, features uh, plus there's a sign here saying lock 0.6 of a mile so I guess I better keep walking. Well, here we have lock number one. 
on the I&M Canal. This was the first lock built, I believe, or definitely one of the first locks built. Uh, as you can see, the way the water's running through, the uh, water level at the top end of the lock used to be a lot, lot higher, of course. At the moment, it looks more like a river than a canal. Uh, because, of course, that was the summit, and it was fed by uh, streams uh, and small, a small river. So um, that's probably why it looks like a river today. Uh, nice to see though, real nice to see. I didn't know if I was going to get to find this lock, I was looking for it. Uh, I was told it was at Lock Port, which it is, but uh, it wasn't where I was looking for it originally. So uh, after some walking down the canal for a, about a mile from where I started, I found it. So here we have lock number one on the INM Canal. And uh, here is one of the old sluiceways as well, or bywashes, uh, whatever one wants to call it, for bypassing the canal. Today is fed by a couple of uh, pipes coming through the bank. One assumes that is not original, but I'm guessing this limestone bed here, coming down through here, all is original that big limestone rock over the top there. If I can zoom in just into the cav cavity there, you can see how the rocks are formed in a curved shape to come around. I've now just walked up to the road bridge uh, crossing the canal and looking straight into the lock. And I think this is time to uh, wrap up this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this one. Uh, it was lovely and warm out today. It was 77 degrees when I finished filming. So that was real nice and very little wind. So they made the sound quality a lot better for most of it. Well, bye for now. Trevor out.